Welcome to the HP Scanjet 5000 S4 slash 7000 S3 video user guide. This collection of videos will show you how to set up, install, configure, and optimize your HP Scanjet 5000 S4 or 7000 S3 scanner. Simply follow along to set up and learn about these scanners capabilities. The 5000 S4 and 7000 S3 are sheet-fed scanners that connect to a computer via a USB 3.0 cable. Equipped with an automatic document feeder or ADF, a straight-through paper path, and double-sided or duplex scanning, these devices are specifically designed for high-volume document scanning at the desktop. While practically identical in form factor and features, there are some important differences between these two models. First, the 5000 S4 is rated at 50 pages per minute, and the 7000 S3 is faster at 75 pages per minute. The 7000 S3 also has a higher duty cycle of 7500 pages per day versus 6000 for the 5000 S4. The 7000 S3 is meant to handle a slightly greater workload. Other than that, these two devices are practically identical. For this reason, we show the 7000 S3 in our examples, but the information provided applies to both models. This video guide assumes the scanner has been unpackaged and ready for setup. If that is not the case, press the pause button and follow the unpackaging instructions that shipped with the scanner. When done, press play to continue. You are now ready to set up your scanner. Setting up your Scanjet 5000 S4 or 7000 S3 begins with finding a suitable location on your desktop. Designed to be lightweight and to have a small footprint, your HP scanner is easy to move and takes up very little space on your desk. The location you select needs to accommodate for the trays being extended during scanning to prevent unnecessary paper jams. However, when not in use, the trays can be retracted and the lid closed, taking up even less desktop space. Before setting up the device, let's do a quick product walk around to become familiar with your HP Scanjet. First, here's the automatic document feeder, or ADF, which includes the paper guides and tray extenders. There are also extenders in front for the output tray. The switch near the left is called the separation page switch and is useful for scanning extra long or folded document types. On the right is the document feeder latch. Release this latch to open the document feeder hatch so you can clear paper jams or access the paper feed rollers. Your Scanjet also has an easy to use control panel. There's a two line LCD display showing error messages and scanning profiles. Use the up and down arrow keys to scroll the display. To initiate a scan and to launch the HP scanning application on your computer, press either the simplex or the duplex scanning button. If you need to, you can cancel the current scan by pressing the Cancel button, the one with the X. The last button is called the HP Tools button and is rarely used. Pressing this button will launch the HP Scanner Tools utility on your computer, which is helpful for maintaining your scanner. On the back of your Scanjet are ports to connect your cables. Connect the power cord to the power supply input and the USB 3.0 cable to the USB 3.0 port. Do not connect the USB cable to your computer yet. You'll be prompted later to connect the cable. The third port is for an HP Wi-Fi adapter that allows mobile devices to initiate a scan via Wi-Fi. Before you can use your HP Scanjet, you'll need to install the appropriate software and drivers. To download the latest version of the software, go to support.hp.com. Enter your scanner model to get to the right product support page. Choose Software and Drivers from the menu on the left, and a list of available software will be shown. Here's the Windows software list. Notice that there's a full software download and another for a basic install. If you want all of the software, choose Full, or choose Basic if you just want the Windows and Twain driver. Click the download button to download the software and when done, run the setup program to begin the installation. The full installation will install the basic driver files, the help files, scanning software and tools, and some plugins. When done, acknowledge the user agreement and you'll be prompted to connect the scanner. 
Now you can connect the scanner USB cable to the computer. The installation will finish and your HP ScanJet is ready for use. Before scanning, make sure your ScanJet is powered on and connected to the computer. If the trays are not open and extended, take a moment to extend both the document input tray and the document output tray. Notice the icons located on the input tray. The one in the middle shows how to load documents. The top of the document faces down and towards the input tray. Now load the input tray with one or more documents and adjust the paper guides to the width of the documents. Make sure the separation page switch is to the right for normal scanning. If you installed the full version of the HP ScanJet software, you can initiate a scan from your Windows computer by clicking on the HP ScanJet shortcut on the desktop. Double-clicking will launch the HP Scanner Assistant. From there, choose Scan. This launches the HP Smart Document Scanning Software, or SDSS for short. From there, choose an appropriate profile and click the Scan button. A thumbnail image appears for every page scan. If you want to check image quality, double-click the thumbnail to zoom in. If everything looks good, click Done, and then click the Save button to save in a local folder. If this is the first time you're running HP SDSS, the Scanner Tools Utility will launch and move the standard profiles to your HP ScanJet so that you can initiate a scan from the device's control panel. With paper loaded, use the up and down arrow keys to select a profile and then press the simplex or the duplex button to scan. The documents will be scanned and HP SDSS will be started on your computer. If you installed the basic software package, then you'll be using other scanning software that accesses your HP ScanJet via a Twain driver. For example, here's a Twain application that shows when you request a scan, the HP Twain driver user interface is presented. And similar to HP's SDSS, you simply choose an appropriate shortcut and then you click the Scan button. The standard scanning profiles provided by HP should suffice for scanning most document types. However, there may be times when you'll want to modify an existing profile or create a new one. To modify a profile using HP's SDSS application, choose an existing profile from the list and click the Edit button. Here you can change scan settings, image processing, and destinations. For instance, let's say you want to change the black and white profile to scan at 200 dpi to save disk space. Simply change the resolution and then click the Save button. Now when you choose the black and white profile, it'll scan at 200 dpi. If you ever want to get back to the original settings, then from the Profiles menu, choose Restore Original Profiles. To create a new profile, click on the Create New Profile and then give it a meaningful name, like Color Searchable PDF. If you want, you can save time by copying settings from a similar profile. Let's choose the Black and White Searchable PDF. The next screen shows profile settings organized by tabs for scan settings, image processing, and destination. In our case, we'll change the black and white setting to color. Other settings we could change include page size and page layout, hardware options, and whether we want to drop out certain colors. The image processing tab allows you to choose settings like page adjustment, document cleanup, and whether or not you want to create multiple files. The Destinations tab is where you change the file format and the destination for the scanned files. You can change the destination or you can add more. After making the changes desired, click the Save button and you'll notice the new profile in the list. You can also create presets or shortcuts for the HP Twain driver. To do this, locate and start the program HP Twain Administration. After selecting your ScanJet, you'll see a list of existing shortcuts and a summary of the settings on the right. You can change these settings or click More to see more options. Here you can change the scan settings, image processing, and document adjustments. If you want to create a new shortcut, click the Create New Scan Shortcut button, make the desired changes, and click Save. You'll see the new shortcut the next time you use the HP Twain driver.
Depending on the environment, usage levels, and other factors, your HP ScanJet may require a little care and maintenance. Here are a couple of things that can be done to keep everything running smoothly. Number one, clean the scanning strips. If you experience poor image quality, the scanning strips may need to be cleaned. To do this, power off your scanner and then open up the document feeder hatch and there you can clean the scanning strips with a soft lint-free cloth that has been sprayed only with a mild glass cleaner. Number two, clean or replace the paper feed rollers. Over time the scanner's paper feed rollers may need to be cleaned or replaced. Open up the document feeder hatch and clean all of the rollers with a clean lint-free cloth moistened with isopropyl alcohol. To access the pickup rollers, press the tab at the upper right corner of the pickup roller cover. HP recommends cleaning the rollers every 5,000 scans and replacing them every 100,000 scans. To help keep track of this maintenance schedule, HP ScanJets include the HP Scanner Tools Utility. To start this program, either press the HP Tools button on the device control panel or locate and run the HP Scanner's Tool Utility from the Start menu. On the Maintenance tab is where you'll find the information on roller cleaning and replacement schedules. This utility can also be used for downloading new profiles into your HP ScanJet device. To do that, go to the Profiles tab and select a profile and then click the Add button. Do this for every profile you want to download into your HP ScanJet device. When you're done, click Apply and the profiles will appear in the scanner's LCD display. If you prefer, you can disable scanning at the device control panel by clicking on the Disable Front Panels button checkbox. Occasionally, you'll run into documents that are fragile, lightly printed, easily skewed, or are too small. Here are some helpful tips for these situations. To avoid skewing and or paper jams, ensure paper guides are snug against the paper edge. Loose guides can result in the paper skewing and guides that are too tight can cause paper jams. Just right will guide the paper. Small documents like business cards are best scanned when placed in the middle of the stack. That's because that's where the rollers pull the paper. If the card is off to the side, it may skew or jam. Sometimes scanning documents with light print or handwriting results in missing content. Often this can be fixed with the Enhanced Content setting in HP SDSS or the Twain driver. Changing to grayscale or color is another way to scan light content. However, the result can be excessive large file sizes. An alternative approach is to use the setting called 1-bit halftone, which improves image quality without generating large file sizes. These and other settings are available to help with scanning problems. When settings need to be changed, don't forget to save them in a profile for easy scanning next time. For more information, tips, and updates, visit your HP ScanJet's support homepage. Go to support.hp.com and enter your ScanJet's model name. This will take you to the best place to get troubleshooting information, software and driver updates, product information, user guides, and more. Now everything should be set up, connected, and configured properly. You can begin scanning with confidence. We hope that you'll love using your HP ScanJet for many years. Happy scanning.